by YouTube. Look what I've got here. This is a ThinkPad X60 with LibreBoot on it. In case you don't know what LibreBoot is, LibreBoot is a free and open source BIOS software. And it's pretty beautiful, isn't it? So the story behind this laptop will be the topic for today's video. So I was planning to get a ThinkPad, which I can put LibreBoot on it for quite a while. But there's a little problem. There aren't very much ThinkPads which are compatible with LibreBoot. So on the LibreBoot's webpage, I find this list. So there are a bunch of different laptops which are compatible with LibreBoot. And because I want a quite cheap laptop and a laptop which is quite portable and small, I choose the ThinkPad X60. So, but where do I get such a laptop from? Of course, from eBay. So I looked a little bit around and I found this ThinkPad on um, eBay. And as labeled here, it's not fully working anymore because as you can see here on startup, um, you have to enter a BIOS password. So the BIOS is locked with a password and the vendor didn't have the password and so he sold it as not working correctly. But I thought, hey, I want to replace the BIOS anywhere. So why not just buy this laptop? So I bought it for about 30 euros plus shipping, which is quite cheap. But of course the laptop did have some disadvantages. As you can see here on this picture, it's very used and it doesn't come with a battery. It doesn't come with a hard drive or the case for a hard drive. So, the, so there are some things I have to invest on later. But first I thought, okay, I can get this for under 20 euros. And if I make some mistakes, by playing LibreBoot on it and I broke the laptop or I destroyed the laptop, I won't have wasted too much money. So I think it's okay. So the next step was to put LibreBoot on it. And normally this laptop has a big advantage. You don't have to, you don't have to, um, to disassemble the laptop and use a program flasher like my Raspberry Pi here, because you can just flash the BIOS from within the operating system. And this is pretty great. But when I got the laptop, I plugged in a USB drive with a live Linux and tried to boot it. But even for booting, it wants the BIOS password. So I thought, damn, now I have to flash the laptop the manual way. Okay. Um, luckily on the LibreBoot webpage, there's quite a detailed guide about how to do this. And so I disassembled the whole laptop and I ended up with this here. Here on the right, you can see my laptop, my flasher. I use the Raspberry Pi for it. And here you can see the motherboard of the X60 with the programmer clamp. And down here is the BIOS chip, the chip where the BIOS is stored in. And here is a closer look to um, the motherboard and the clamp. Okay, so I started my Raspberry Pi, installed Flash ROM on it. Flash ROM is a program you can use to write binaries to a SBI flash, for example. And then I connected my clamp to the GPIOs of the Raspberry Pi. And I tried to, um, tried to detect the chip. Because the first thing you want to do is to try to connect um, your clamp and try to detect the BIOS chip. This is done by reading the first few bytes of the SBI flash because they contain a vendor and a device ID, so you can identify the device. But on my first tries, I couldn't detect the BIOS chip. 
And I thought, damn, maybe I have destroyed my ThinkPad motherboard now because if you switch the ground pin with the 3.3 volt pin, for example, you can destroy the BIOS chip and in the worst case, the whole motherboard. So I started to panic, but after a while, the reason for this was quite simple. So here you can see the GPIO header of my Raspberry Pi 1. And the green pins are the pins needed for SBI. The pin down here is the clock. This is master input, put slave output, master output, slave input. And down here you have two chip select pins. And I didn't use GPIO 7. I connected chip select to GPIO 24. And this was the reason why I couldn't read from the device because the chip select was never active. So after changing the pins, I could successfully um, read from the BIOS chip and program LibreBoot on it. I did it with Flash ROM, as I already have mentioned. And after that, I could boot the thing up and got this quite good looking screen here. So I installed Trisquel on it. And Trisquel is a free version of Ubuntu, so it doesn't use any proprietary software. And because of that, I couldn't use the Wi-Fi chip any longer because this Wi-Fi chip, which was inside my laptop, could only be used with proprietary software blobs. Okay, so I went shopping again. I bought a new battery and a case for the hard drive. And I replaced the BIOS chip so I can use my 100% free and open source Linux distribution. So after that, I paid about 60 euros for this 14 year old laptop, but now I own a Libre booted ThinkPad. And this is quite nice. And even for its age, it's quite usable. You can watch videos on it. Okay, not in the highest resolution, of course, but 360 resolution is still okay for it. And you have this nice old ThinkPad keyboard, which feels very comfortable. And of course, the laptop runs with 100% with free and open source software, which is really great. The downsides are it can only handle um, three gigabytes of RAM because it's a 32-bit processor and in some years there won't be much distributions there for 33-bit processors as um, distributions like Fedora or Ubuntu stop supporting them. So this is a story about my ThinkPad X60 and how I put LibreBoot on it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.